In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can use Microsoft Copilot to create an app in Power Apps. So we will basically add some prompt and it will create an app for us. But just one thing you remember that whenever you will create an app using Copilot, then in that case you will not be used uh, any other data sources like SharePoint Online or OneDrive for Business or an Excel. All the tables will be created in Microsoft Dataverse. So that is the you can say limitation feature whatever it is but that is the option which is available now if you want to say that uh, you know i'll use copilot but my data source will be a sharepoint online list that option as of now is not available all everything will be created on microsoft data Wars. and if you are new to the channel my name is bj and i'm a microsoft mvp i make videos on power apps power automate and know power bi all these technologies sharepoint online spfx all these uh, videos i make and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel then subscribe it so that uh, you know you will get notification whenever i'll make videos and the other thing is that if you are a beginner and want to learn power platform or sharepoint online development then check out our course i'll put the link in the video description you can have a look at it and if you'll join now, then uh, we are releasing uh, a few products like timesheet application, travel management application, all these applications we are making. Uh, so you will get those uh, access by free. So you don't have to pay any additional thing. So if you'll do that now, then it will be an advantages for you. So I'll put the link in the video description. You can uh, you know check it out, uh, the complete training course. So now we will go to the system and we will use Microsoft Copilot and we will create a IT training feedback app uh, which will be a full fledged working app. So now let's go to the system. So now let me show you how we can create an app using Copilot in Power Apps. So for that I will open the browser and uh, as usual I will go to make.powerapps.com this is the place from where you can create all your apps and you can see it here on the home page the moment you land in the home page you can see let's build an app what should i do and you can give your app what the app will do uh, with your languages and it will create this is one option you can go or from here you can go also from here you can start from here right so uh, from the home page i will build here i will say it training uh, Courses feedback uh, app, right? So, this is the prompt that I will give. So, what it will do behind the scene is it will create the tables in the data box. As I said, when you are working with Copilot, uh, you will not able to use any other data sources like your SharePoint Online or OneDrive for business or anything. What you can you what it will do is it will create uh, behind the scene on the data box. Now, first of all, if you'll see here, now it created two tables and, uh, you know, the uh, the relation it make and you can see all these things. So if you'll click on this, you can see view data. You can see these are the courses, um, you know, feedbacks it has been added. And also, if you'll go to the course, you can see it here, like these are the course uh, it has been added, right? Um, so what you can do is uh, you can actually uh, add some prompt to um, you know to uh, let's say to add some more feedback or add one more course for example and also there is a you can see view prompt option if you click on this you can see some options are there create a table so if you want to create one more table uh, multiple tables for this create a rows for this columns for each all these kind of things you can do it so for example i'll say create rows for a course table okay um so let let me just try this option below right so i say create rows for the course table so in the course table we will see whether it added a another row or not uh, so five rows has been added to the course table so if you'll see here now you can see um uh, in the course table it added five more courses uh, now i added here create rows for course table so it added five rows right so best thing is you can view this prompt and uh, uh, that way you can uh, use those prompts so like for simple things like create rows right so that is the thing so let's say uh, we will add same thing uh, create uh, 
two rows i will say two rows for uh, feedback table right and uh, we will see how many uh, rows are there now probably five feedbacks so we will see it here i will add this prompt um so most of the prompts which i am using here uh, you know they usually work i have tested in all, certain other applications uh, so you can see here two rows have been added if you click on this view data you can see here six seven two rows it has been added with the feedback rating and everything right so same way you can delete you can rename a course uh, whatever you can do so you can do that so uh, as i said you can click over here and change you can do that right so um, change column value to this so you can do that right so it will change it so uh, for example let's say i will try one more option here suppose the course name uh, um, uh, for example i'll say change course um, change uh, python basics to python advanced in the course table uh, let's see whether it is working or not um so we will see uh, you know whether it is changing or not but these are few prompts that you can give the course name has been renamed to python basic so hopefully it has been done um still i can see python basics okay so now what we will do here is so these are uh, the prompts that you can try so what now we will do here is you can see save an app save an open app so once you click on this it will show you uh, on this option so now what it will do is it will now open your app so the app is a full fledged working app um, you know like in the previous video i have shown so this video also the ui will be little different it will be a tablet layout and it will create a fully functional app with the functionality we will see it here so now you can see here almost our app is opening now you can see it here there will be certain screens that it will add i will show you that including a welcome screen also so now you can see uh, here there is a welcome screen there is a feedback screen and then there is course screen as well so in the welcome screen you can see it here uh, now you can also give some prompt into it so we can say create add a screen form or a button uh, so you can use these options and you can add uh, over here for example i will say uh, add a button on the welcome screen right um let's see i will and nabi get uh, to the feedback uh, screen uh, let me see whether it is working or not so let's see um, it should add a button here so i have uh, tried the things like it is not that uh, it will do as expected everything but yes uh, you can uh, sure these are the changes made so button and added on select change for button one so this changes has been done so if you'll see here now this is the button let's say right let me put it here and it is saying that on select change for button one so that also has been added you can undo and all these things you can do so now let let's just play this now you can see here we it has been played the welcome screen now click on this you can see here actually it is going to the feedback screen right so so understand this way like i added this and uh, you see those changes has been done here right a button has been added and on click of that it is navigating to the feedback screen now if i'll go to the feedback screen i'll just play it here you can see this as i said this is a fully placed app so you can add new feedback so you can see it here um, and then you will be fill the details you can save you can uh, uh, discard it same way suppose i want to delete the feedback for i can click on this are you sure you want to delete you can see here if the feedback has been deleted now if you want to edit so you can edit this you can say feedback one 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 something like this i'll say save 
so this is the feedback uh, you know screen same way you can go to the course screen also so in the course screen you can see it here uh, the course you can add courses here so you can see i can add courses instructor uh, you know uh, duration all this so courses let's say i'll say power uh, platform and instructor is let's say i'll say bj and the duration is let's say nine hours i'll say save so now this power platform has been uh, saved so you can see it here you can edit delete search all these things you can do so you can see like this is how we can create an app you can more prompts you can give it here i have tried giving like change the uh you know image for this and it will show you the option like uh you do this for changes like this so not like always uh, uh you know uh, everything it will be added so sometimes it will show you the instruction also uh, so that you can do uh, so those things also you can use copilot from here even after creating it and it will add uh, some of the logics uh, that you will explain in this text box right so yeah so this is how you can create a uh, you know app from scratch by using microsoft copilot and if you want similar kind of uh, videos then subscribe to the channel uh, so that every time i'll make videos on that you will get notification on that so thank you and have a nice day